All right, so we got an assortment of parts here that I printed. Some of these things still have some uh, you know, support material in them that we can knock out, but uh, there we go. All right. So the idea is here to uh, make a stand for the um, uh, cheapo microscope. So originally I intended this to be uh, on a pipe hanging over the desk, just like the uh, camera and the uh, uh, other lights were, such that we could just bring a pipe down in here, kind of swing it in, swing it out of the way that the uh, microscope would come down on. But then I thought about it and I thought, no, nah, let's just uh, go ahead and make it a, a table stand model. But if you decide to do it overhead, um, you can just print two of these shapes here and it'll, you can make a stand overhead. So, um, Some of these parts, these two parts, are um, from uh, another project on Thingiverse and uh, I'll uh, link to that one here and show you. Um, that's just a, a little pinion gear. And this one is uh, the 12-inch long version, but if uh, your printer won't print that, you can always just uh, make a shorter one. That's no big deal. I did modify this one so that it fits up nicely against a pipe here. So, let's go ahead and start assembly. Let's see. So I want to use. Uh, I'm going to use this pipe here, and uh, it's just a little bit on the long side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that guy down. I'm going to make it the length of the uh, um, track there. So that's going to match up with my piece there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the base so it doesn't go any place. The, the cool thing about this, these little brackets here and the base is that they, they mesh uh, perfectly in there. So once you've got, uh, so let's go ahead and do this with the base. And the base is pointing up, so we're going to point up. We'll get that in there and just kind of, it's little snug, so we'll push it in. And I am using um, Raptor PLA on this one. Alright, so it looks like it's uh, meshing in there like it should. Pretty darn close. It's going in there good. So then we're going to take this guy and we're going to try to squeeze it right in that hole behind it there. without breaking the piece, hopefully. And I think we'll just clip it on there. How about that? I'll go down on the floor and tap it on there. Sludge it right on there. So there we are. We're in there, and it sets up quite nicely. So in this position, we got the pipe slid down a little bit. First, going to take this, and uh, either side is up. It doesn't matter. And we're going to slide that so that the goes into the pipe there. Just like that, because if we slid it on from the side, we're going to snap this part. And then at that point, we can take this part and uh, mate up with that. It's uh, a rack, in opinion, so that's the rack. And now we can slide this whole guy down. There. So now we're good. All right. And this uh, piece slides up and down very easily here. So it comes to this piece. Now this piece is uh, from that uh, other Thingiverse uh, part without modification. And you just want to make sure that you're putting it into uh, the thing so that it mates. One way it won't, one way it will. Doesn't matter which way you started. 
But before we do that, let's go ahead and mount the, the handle onto it. We see that it's going to mount this way. And I'm right-handed, so I want the handle on the right side. You can put the handle on the left side. You can put the handle on both sides. I'm just going to do one side. So I'm going to take it like that. And I've got some uh, M4 screws here. I'm going to just thread into a couple of these holes. You don't need to fill all four of them. Uh, you know, two is plenty. Well, these are snug. You might have to thread them in there the first time. I've had these in here before just to make sure they're going to fit while I was making the part. So we'll thread those through a little bit and make sure that we're still lined up the right way here. Yep. And we'll go ahead and uh, find a couple holes for those to go through. There we go. We'll just attach that right on there. I think these screws that I have here are much longer than I probably need, but that's what I had on hand. How long are they? I think I've got a millimeter gauge down here. Let's find out. Pop one out here and lay it on there. That looks like they're uh, 30 mil M4 by 30s. But you could probably get by easily with an M4 by 20 or 12 or maybe even to 10, although that might be a little short. Go ahead and get these guys threaded onto that part. And it doesn't have to be super snug because this isn't going to go any place and it's not going to be under that much tension. Maybe just take it so the screw heads are down below the edge of the uh, edge of the handle here. That'd be sufficient. And that fits right in there, and that'll drive the carriage up and down. Then the next part is this guy. And this guy will hold that guy, uh, um, gear in there. In fact, we can just take that gear and pop him right in there, and then we'll slide it in. Now, there is an upside and a downside to this. They're really close in size, but uh, they are different. So if it doesn't fit properly one side, just go ahead and turn it over and do it the other way. There we go. Get those to mesh in place. Now on here we've got some spots for some M3 screws. And I've got some M3 by... Um, uh, looks like 16. And I haven't threaded these in here yet, so that'll be a bit of a treat. Let's go ahead and get that smaller screwdriver and just prime those holes there. Make life a little easier. So there's a lot of different uh, microscope stands out there. I just thought I'd try one of my own here. Oops, come on, get in there. I wanted to, to use the conduit. Originally, like I said, planned to have it stand overhead, but uh, I thought, now nah, let's just do a, an easy stand here. My wrist is running out of steam here. Let me go grab one of those bits. I'll be right back. Here we go. This is uh, this is one of them. They're just a little 2.5 millimeter, uh, you know, to hex bit, so it'll fit in this um, junky little driver I have here, just like that. And we'll pop that guy out of here. Maybe coming out of there. There we go. I'll we'll snug it up this way. Uh-oh, battery's dead. Okay, now will it still turn? Oh yeah. It's not gonna fall down on you accidentally. We'll crank this guy down. So now we're gonna attach the uh, clip for the, holding the, uh, 
the microscope itself. So you can slip her through like that. Uh, whatever works for you. There. It'll hold. It'll hold. It's not real snug, but you know, it'll do the job. And we probably only need a couple of screws. I've got three up here. And uh, the holes in the center here go all the way through, of course, to the gear. So you don't want to use anything that's too long. And I'm just thinking that these guys might just be marginal here, just about too long. So let's just go ahead and throw one in, see what happens. There, that's way longer than I need. But that's okay. So we'll go ahead and line that up with that hole. Now this is made to fit in between those other screws, so that shouldn't be an issue there. You shouldn't have to go in on top of any of those screws. It'll just the nest in between there. Looks like I'm at the right spot possibly here. Yeah, I think it's going in. So let's see if it still turns here. Oh yeah, let's go in a little further and see what happens. Yeah, looks like that'll work out for us this time. And it still goes. All right, so one more. Now it's going in there. Let's just go ahead and use this guy now. Okay, and there it is. So. You've got the uh, handle to drive it up and down here. Go all the way up, probably further up than it needs to, and darn near all the way down. So let's go ahead and put this uh, camera in here. And we'll go ahead and, it's not real snug, but it's snug enough. Let's go ahead and throw something down there and see if we can focus on it. Yeah, if you want a tighter fit, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a tighter fit down here, I suppose. So it doesn't wiggle quite so much, but uh, that's good enough for me. I'm going to focus in just a little more. There we go. So there's that little screw. And we'll take it all the way down. So this is something so I'm not holding it in my hand, trying to uh, move it around and uh, giving really unsteady videos. A little bit of play in that uh, where it fits in the holder there. There. So at least there it is. You know, we can sit and talk about it and uh, not have an issue with it bouncing all over the place. Or me trying to hold it by hand with my shake in here. So, you know, it's, it's not a bad deal. It wasn't uh, too tough to, to build and we used a bit of EMT or conduit in here in the process and if things loosen up on us ever we can always start putting uh, you know quarter 20 screws in there and nuts and, and snugging her down but I don't think that's going to happen unless you're using it uh, you know constantly every day. Yeah, pretty cool. I saw these uh, tracks this rack and pinion actually uh, on uh, on Thingiverse and this will get loosened up a little bit too and be smoother for you. but. Yeah. I'll link to those, of course, and uh, I'll uh, give you a link to uh, to this guy on Thingiverse. Thanks for watching.